everyone, this is Space UGFX, and this tutorial is showing you how to make a simple desktop background. And um, the first thing you want to do is uh, go on your desktop, and if you have a PC, you're just going to right click and click screen resolution. And uh, mine's 1680 by 1050. And if you're on a Mac, I'm not really sure how to do this, but uh, I'm sure you can figure it out. 1680 by 1050. And make sure you have lock ratio unchecked. And uh, we can just go into the view. And uh, I'll go MoGraph, MoText, center it. And um, the font, I'll just choose that. Take it to mod. And I'll choose pull. Okay. Put the depth up a little bit. Caps, fill it cap, fill it cap. And I'll put the steps up so the edges are more rounded. And, um, we're just gonna get a good view here, and um, you know, I'll put the spacing up a little bit more. And uh, what you can do is, um, if you have the Grayscale Gorilla Light Kit, this is, uh, it's good for um, setting up your uh, light scene really fast. And uh, just go overhead softbox and softbox, and it should be should be good to go. Just kind of drag this out of the way. Okay, and now uh, we'll make the materials. First of all, let's make sort of a black material. Uh, reflection, Fresnel, down to like 5, 28. And uh, that's good. Another new material, I'll make it kind of like a dark red, so i to drag the brightness down. Reflection, same thing as the black pretty much, just around here. And um, check the luminance, maybe make it like, not 120, maybe 10%, and uh, check that. Um, so what you can do is you can add the to the text, you can add the black material, then you're going to add the red material. And on the red material, you can type in on the selection um, C1, and uh, it'll put the, uh, the black on the outside and the red on the inside. And I actually, uh, I might want to reverse that. Um, C1, and just delete this tag. So when we render again, the red on the outside, and the black I want to make, I think, darker. I'll just, I don't think that helps, but anyways, I'll just render that, see what that looks like. Um, okay, now we're going to go under render settings, effect, global illumination, oh, global illumination and uh, for now we're just going to put it to low so we can have a good preview and um, go to anti-aliasing best uh, one by one by two by two just render this see what it looks like um, I think that'll do and uh, so we're going to prep for a render so we're going to put uh, one by one by four by four and global illumination just put it back to high and uh, general IR QMC still image and you're going to go to save and you're going to go to um, PNG and make sure alpha channel is uh, clicked and I'll just save this to my desktop um, as tutorial and uh, you can just click the render button okay so once that's done rendering you just want to um, go where you uh, saved it to Mine is on the desktop, so you, okay, right here. You want to right click, uh, open with Adobe Photoshop CS5, and um, that'll just make it so it's 1680 by 1050 or whatever your screen resolution is. Just wait for this to open up. And here we go. Okay, what we can do is um, make a new layer, drag it under the your text, and um, click the, uh, the gradient tool. That's not the gra the gradient tool. I'm gonna just make it uh, kind of a red, dark red, and uh, black. And um, I'll make sure it's uh, circular. I'm just kind of drag like that. Actually, a little more. 
You sort of keep playing with this to it to get something you like. Um Hmm. There we go, that looks cool. And now we're I'm actually just gonna drag the oops, drag the text up a little bit. About there. And uh what you can do is um if you have any textures you like we we'll just minimize this and uh, we'll go to um, so. But anyways, you can just uh, get any uh, texture you have, and uh, we'll use. Let's use this one. Just uh, drag it into here, and uh, we're gonna put it. Um, I'll just place this for now. We're gonna put it below your text but above uh, your gradient and now we're going to just go click on that layer and press control T or command T and just to make it so it uh, fits the whole screen and uh, once you've done that you can just click uh, this button right here and you still want to place it and um, once you click on that you can either do uh, you can do screen maybe set the opacity down a little bit or you can um, do color dodge, which looks pretty cool. And you want to set the you always want to set the opacity, most likely. That's looking pretty cool. And um, you can even uh, go on the the text and go uh, image. Um, actually, layer layer style and um, maybe an outer glow. Put it to like grayish size, like that. Maybe something like that, and. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you want to do some color correction, you can go image adjustments, curves. Go drag these up. Something like that. Um, might want to do that for your text too. Just gonna drag this up. But, uh, yeah, this looks pretty cool. And uh, you just do file, uh, save as. PNG or JPEG if you prefer and uh, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, if you liked the video, found this helpful, please subscribe and um, see you.